right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nantel. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, El Terrible. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Why? One of the best in the business, Herb right. Dean, is our referee right. tonight. Yeah. All right, here we go, up for grabs tonight, the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Nice body shot. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Now he's starting to find his groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left, or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Kick landed. Ooh, big shot land. Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter, but he wants his opponent to strike first. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Good counter right. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Well, it takes a very good striker to be able to land going forward and moving backward. And as you see the numbers there, the counter striking has been absolutely on point for him here tonight. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Oh, good block there. 
Just over three minutes to go now. That is a damaging kick that lands. And he switches to southpaw. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Straight punches there again. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never doing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. That's good defense to get that guard up. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Nice strike. Not above the eye. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. That kick lands. Just misses with that one. Nice. Kick attempt, it's blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Oh, beautiful job here defensively. And then he lands the counter shot. So he's really starting to get the timing of his opponent and working this fight right into his wheelhouse as the consummate counter-strike. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Right on the button. He lands another head kick. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, inside kick. 20 seconds left. Right back on those leg kicks. Final seconds. Defense there, huge huh. block. Huh. Second round, straight ahead. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his forehead, sustained in that round. The cut man has 60 seconds now to close it up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here moving forward. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trickle-down effect. You ready That's to fight? That That's right. You ready? <laughs> All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides if it's going to dance as we go forward. What a punch. Big power shot there. He looks like Pac-Man is taking so many strikes to the head. So again, trying to bait his opponent in here, looking to set up yet another counter. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. He wants and needs his opponent to strike first. Not always easy being a counter striker. The crowd can get on you a little bit. But he has not deviated from the game plan here tonight. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Nice move and punch. Inside leg kick is there. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have to answer the situation. 
All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Out of range with that one. Back and forth we go. Just missed with the straight left hand. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body start to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body. In the Whoa! Oh, another one. Gets back to his feet. Throwing hard in the pocket. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, oh, oh, oh. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, there it is again. Back to his feet. All right, so you see some redness on that calf. Maybe he's starting to slow down a little bit. It looks like he is. He's starting to really hurt him. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' minds. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now. This striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, so the ref has called a break to the action, and it likely means, yes, he will call in the doctor to look at that cut, which is just leaking all over the octagon. Right? A lot of blood, John, but this is a fight. I mean, guys bleed, girls bleed. Uh -huh. It happens in a fight. These guys should be able to continue. As Michael Bisping might say, we have a cheeky situation here, but <laughs> it looks as though the fight will continue, at least for now. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back underway. Gets us right back underway, and it doesn't seem like there was too much thought into it. It looked like they were going to let him fight. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Now working the body with the elbow. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. Oh, 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 what a round. How good was that? All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again.
You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, you don't blame him for continuing to badger that cut. Things are getting bloody, champ. Yeah, you got to be careful now because as it bleeds, you got to worry about the blood going into the eye. Now is time to start being on high alert. Oh, he could be a one-eyed fighter here pretty soon. That left eye starting to shut. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. That's how you block a strike. Man, is he timing his shots well here, too. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Well, they need some motion in the morning, but at least in terms of the present, he's got to figure out a way to stop these body shots and get back in the fight. This is bad. The only way for him to stay up right is to get a take down. He takes one or two more of these body shots. He's going to go down. And honestly, he's as tough as they come. But you should not have to rely that much on your toughness. You got to do something. There's that inside leg kick and just slap yourself. Oh! Let's do it! Oh my god! With a massive highlight at the garden! <laughs> oh man! Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world. Wide. And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.